Hi, Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly forecast for February 24th through March 1st. We're going to see what's happening in the week ahead with this lovely deck here. And then we're going to pull a crystal for you guys from this deck here. We are coming into the week of the 24th off some new moon vibes. There's a new moon on the 23rd. So, oh, oh, oh phone's making noise uh we're gonna see what is happening and how that new moon energy might be affecting aquarius in the week ahead uh see what might be a good card for you a, a good crystal for you guys to bring into any manifestation work and go from there so monday tuesday for aquarius please wednesday thursday for aquarius please come on now come on now Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, my dears, without further ado, Monday, Tuesday, we have the Hanged Man. So you might be starting off the week uh, at a bit of an impasse about something or feeling like things are not moving forward as quickly as you would hope or as quickly as you would like. And I always say this when the hangman comes up, people a lot of times will like kind of cringe because they think, oh, you know, things are gonna be stuck or things are gonna be boring. And what they forget to see, what they fail to see is the hanged man is a major arcana card. And anytime the major arcana cards come up, it has to do with a, like a very specific like crossroads we're finding ourselves at connected to a life purpose life path life lesson something we came here to accomplish or something we came here to do or learn and the message here is that uh, this is like gearing you up to some kind of awakening to see something that you've been missing so this could be a very contemplative energy this could be an energy like stepping back and really seeing the the whole picture of something and so uh, you might be coming into a time uh, in the next couple of weeks, uh, on into the next couple of months even, where you're beginning to see things from a different perspective. You're beginning to see things from a different angle. Um, I do feel for some of you, Aquarius, it's so it's like sweet, the image I just got. Like Spirit just gave me an, an, an image of like a mother, like kind of like soothing their, not soothing, but like, waking their child up in a very loving or very nurturing way like not like hurry up get up but like oh you know ah, like you know like you know just kind of little by little like kind of easing them awake that's the feeling that i'm getting around this card for you so i feel that you know there may not be like this you know massive tower moment or there may not be like this you know massive revelation but you might feel Monday, Tuesday about a situation. It could be a work situation. It could be a family situation, love situation, where you're beginning to see, hmm, there are certain sides to this person that I've been missing. Or there's certain things about the situation that I didn't see it before, but I'm starting to see it now. Oh, wow. Like, it's all so clear. Like, like why didn't I see it before? So I feel like you're being given pieces to a puzzle or you're being shown the truth of a situation a little bit at a time so that it doesn't feel overwhelming or overpowering you're, you're just being given what you're able to process at a time so that i do feel there's kind of like this very gentle reveal that some of you are coming into your wednesday thursday is you have eight of wands so this hangman energy monday tuesday and i i do say the major arcana will 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 uh will be with us for a while right they're, they're like phases or stages but as we come into monday tuesday uh wednesday thursday excuse me uh we're coming into this eight of wands energy so it's you're desiring to move ahead this could also be communication sometimes eight of wands could be communication receiving news or uh, receiving word about something we've been waiting to hear about and so this could be um, I feel in this case for you guys, even though I know eight of wands could be passion, things moving very quickly, it's feeling to me the, the vibe of like news coming to you connected to this hangman energy. Uh, again, more pieces of the puzzle. And I feel Wednesday, Thursday, once those pieces of the puzzle come in, um, you know, you're beginning to prepare some kind of action on how you're wanting to move forward or what you're wanting to do. Um, and it, to me, I, I feel like you are desiring to leave. Okay, you're desiring to leave a place 
or leave a situation uh but again like to go up to something better to progress to, to upgrade in some kind of way here uh so eight of wands for me is feeling like there's news coming your way wednesday thursday where you are receiving answers to questions or you are receiving more missing pieces of the puzzle so to speak uh your friday saturday and sunday we have the emperor now aquarius this is kind of coming in with the message for you Again, another major arcana card. And I, I always say this, even though I do the weekly readings and I break it up by days when we have the major arcana cards come up, it's letting us know we're coming into a certain period of time. We're coming into a cycle or into a phase. This isn't just going to be done in a day or two. And the fact that you have the emperor coming up for you Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's like you're being shown the truth of a situation you ask for the truth some of you have been putting that out there some of you have even flat out been asking your angels and guides please show me the truth about the situation the truth is coming the truth is coming in um very clearly the emperor is coming in to say that you're gonna have to come into discipline structure order planning what you're going to do and how you're going to move ahead this is going to be a time for you i feel the weekend is going to be a time for you that you may have to like clear any scheduled appointments or any plans and really take some time to do your planning and to figure out you know what your next stages or what your next steps are going to be right so like if it's a work situation you may be taking uh, some time during the weekend to really, really brush up your resume, really touch it up, really perfect it. Um, if it's a situation with a relationship that you feel like it's going to be time to leave, you may be looking into what you need to do to prepare yourself for that, especially if it's a relationship where you have you know, like a, a joint account or something, you know, um, you know, you're kind of having to look into prepare until what are you going to do? What are the steps going to be? If you're living with the person, looking at like another living arrangement, uh, preparing yourself in that way uh, you know whatever it might be you're beginning to do the planning and Empress says like you're gonna have to be disciplined to not allow yourself to like get distracted I do feel for a lot of you there may be something there's a sense of building or creating like you're building or you're creating something in your life or you're building or creating the way out so if this is a business uh, if you have a side business or a side project you've been working on you're going to want to take time this weekend and really really work on it you know really take advantage of this new moon energy this creation energy and really build upon it uh you know there's always when i see the emperor there's the feeling of like that empire that dynasty that building or creating something for yourself so you're it's coming it's coming into um uh, I don't know if I want to say overdrive, but I think you're kind of gearing up for a very fast period in your life where things are going to be happening very quickly. Uh, and so this is the time to get in order. This is the time. Leo had something similar about them having to get organized. And um, for you guys, I don't feel it's so much having to get organized. I feel it's doing like the mental organization or the mental planning, being very clear about you know what needs to be done and you know how you're going to be able to make time to do it there's some elements of time management here too with with the emperor card for you all now the emperor is associated with aries so some of you may be dealing with an aries this might uh, symbol uh, symbolize uh, an aries in your life um or if you have aries in your chart it could be certain aspects of that aries that are coming up that are going to be beneficial for you in the next stages of your life um so again these are general readings they are going to be different for different ones of you i always encourage you to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos so that you have a better idea so that you can put like the pieces together for your particular energy sometimes your moon or rising videos might resonate a little bit more so those are helpful to check out as well if you're wanting more of a deeper love reading do check out the love readings those are linked in the description as well we're going to see what crystal is going to be a good crystal for our lovely aquarius friends to have around in the week ahead yellow is coming up back to back wow yellow is like the last three readings or uh, last two readings before you guys were, were yellow so it says integrate and accept change align with the cycles of life improve mental alertness 
focus on the present moment. Isn't that so funny? This is basically exactly what your reading said. A uh, mental alertness that you're being woken up, that you're awake, you're being awakened and you're seeing the truth of a situation and focus on the present moment with that emperor, you know, what needs to be done, what the next steps are going to be, what has to happen right now, that discipline, that structure, that order. This basically confirmed everything that came up in your reading, the energy that came up in your reading. Uh, but so change, change is jumping out at me, my dear. So you're preparing for some changes here. The crystal that you have is Prionite. Uh, Prionite is pretty easy to get. Uh, it might not be a crystal that you've heard of. It's not like a common crystal like amethyst or um, uh, uh, rose quartz, right? Like th there's some crystals everybody's heard of. Not everybody's heard of prenite, but it is pretty easy to get. So if you do have like crystal shops near you or metaphysical shops, they should have it. Um, if they don't have it, you know, you can always order from online. And if you can't do that, if you can't order from anything online or if you can't, um, you know, get crystals right now or you can't spend money at all, uh, you can just maybe kind of focus on these colors and you can maybe do some meditations with the heart chakra and opening up to receive and opening up to heal. You know, green is associated with the heart chakra and green is also a color associated with healing, right? And it's said that the green crystals or green stones are associated with Archangel Raphael. So you can maybe do meditations incorporating Archangel Raphael. You can call an Archangel Raphael to be with you and to, you know, bring about emotional, uh, mental, physical healing. Um, that, that, and when I say physical, guys, that does not substitute going to the doctor. If there's something going on physically, please go to the doctor. Don't just say, Raphael, heal me, and then don't go to the doctor. That doesn't, that's not going to help you know so i'm not saying that takes the place of medical stuff but definitely you can work with archangel Raphael. uh the affirmation you have here is i accept the impermanence of all things i know that change brings renewal and goodness so the changes that are coming in are coming in to help you to receive to help you to heal um to help you to you know better better things but as all things as truth is revealed to us there may be a little bit of a sting or a little bit of a disappointment uh when we realize that we have to change plans or we have to go in a different direction and Raphael is really great for helping soothe some of those feelings so just some little uh messages there my dears do watch your moon and rising like i said if you would like a private reading uh private readings are going to be limited for march and april because i am going to be traveling i'm going to be going and checking out places because i want to get ready for like workshops and meet and greets and things like that i want to start getting out there and like meeting you guys and doing uh workshops and things like this so i'm going to be checking out different places i am going to be traveling it's it is like work related or like preparing for the future uh so while I'm traveling, I won't do any private readings. You guys will still get the weekly forecast. I will post every single day on Instagram and Facebook the card of the day and the pick a card game that I do on there. Like that, All that's going to continue, but there won't be any private readings while I'm traveling. So for that reason, there's going to be certain uh, dates that are blocked out that you won't be able to schedule a reading. So if you've been wanting to get in, uh, you know, it might be a good idea to do that uh, for the available spaces that are available right now other than that my dears i do uh, you know hope you are enjoying the videos that are getting posted and i thank you all so much for watching liking sharing commenting subscribing don't forget to check out the love readings and the channeled angel messages those are linked in the description as well um and a lot of you always ask about the nails so uh this this time uh this is something i got online i have my nail tech put on so that's linked in the description too if you want to pick up some for yourself i thank you all for watching liking sharing commenting subscribing and i'm wishing you a fabulous week my dears take care